Hey, you doing, ladies and gentlemen? There we go, supporting. All right, hey, you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Jesus Christ here. I got my man Buddha over here. Come on, I'm gonna say hi real quick. Hey, guys. So this is a little quick video we're gonna try to make for the update of the YouTube channel. I know we did the vertical farm system. We talked a lot about the hemp and stuff, and we talked a lot about um, your other half, which I didn't really get it too much into the videos that I already uploaded on this one. We're gonna talk about that real quick. So your mind is your other half, okay? Your mind is your. You recognize you get like second thoughts a lot, okay? Well, obviously you wouldn't keep second guessing yourself. Something else is second guessing you. But that's those second guesses that make you stronger to encourage you, which is your other half, which is your wife, which is your life. Now, believe it or not, all these women on out there, they know what's going on. They they know what they're doing. Um, and and you you can tell by looking at how they think and things like that. They kind of they kind of realize what's going on. Now, uh, I want you to understand that those second guesses, don't get mad at them. When your wife or your girlfriend or whoever or even sister or whatever, they, they second guess you or they get on your case about whatever, take that as a compliment. Honestly, that is a compliment. The fact that they even know, they believe in you to not only take those second guesses but have a nice rebuttal that's uh, a forward, nice, calming, full of love and compassion, understanding. And, and it's going to be something where it's like, okay, no, it's okay. I got this, baby. I love you. But we're, we're you know, God's got this. I got this. I trust in God. We're going to move forward. You know what I mean? Every, every good man is going to say something like that, like a trust in God, because, I mean, that's that's the smartest and it's truth. I mean, it, nobody can deny that. You know, love, God is love. I'm love itself, guys. you got to learn to trust in love. Um, so that's really what it comes down to. You learn to love one another. That is the fulfillment of the law, and now you understand why. I mean, if, you, if your other half is inside of you, and, and blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is unforgivable from this age and the age to come, obviously you kind of understand we're not talking about men here because blasphemy is father and blasphemy is son is forgivable so obviously we're talking about women you know hell hath no fury like a woman scorn now again even the unforgiveness of women are there to make you stronger they're there to give you more and more confidence in yourself more and more confidence in who you are and what you're capable of because they already know who you are and what you're capable of because they fell in love with you they look at your potential they look at the true you they don't look at what you look at you sometimes when you look at yourself and say oh i'm not good enough i'm not this i'm not a good person i'm not uh you know when you, when you try to be better but i mean a person that's constantly trying to be better is a good person they're constantly trying to be good but that's common sense so, you know, I just want to express this love to you guys and tell you guys uh, to remember to be kind to one another and don't, don't jump to conclusions. Don't, don't, don't feel bad when they're constantly giving you, uh, giving you those second thoughts, you know, second guesses on, on your actions or your, your things. And take them as encouragement. Take them as love and compassion. They're wisdom. They know, they know what's up. They did that. You, you know, you don't want to admit it, but nine times out of ten, they're speaking some kind of truth. You know, some kind of form or another. Maybe it, it, it doesn't make sense. Maybe it's driving up your wall. Maybe you're like, man, I'm doing everything right. Why is she constantly giving me so much trouble? Just have faith. Keep going and persevere. For perseverance never fails. Love never fails. So uh, that's pretty much the main message here, guys. Just keep persevering. Keep loving. Uh, love through the situation. Because, again, love never fails. And that's according to the word. That's solid. That's written in there. You guys have nothing to worry about. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open unto thee. It's going to work out for you guys. Just trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he shall direct thy paths. The Spirit is within you. The Spirit of the Lord is within you. It's guiding you. It's the invisible hand. I sent my will out from the beginning, and I dove in to receive my own will, to do what I'm doing right here, right now, to tell you, to inform you, to love you, and to restore all things, and to save the world. Love and peace. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Over and out, guys.